Welcome to Your Favorites by Request with me, Tim Parton. You've sent me your favorite songs, and I'm ready to play while you sing along. And if you don't remember all the words, don't worry, they're on the screen. And now, Your Favorites by Request. Your Favorites by Request. I believe music is a very powerful force. One that can be of great assistance, for instance, to those of us who occasionally need a little push to get ourselves moving. Then add the uplifting, convicting, holy words of God to that music, and I dare say these gospel songs provide a formidable force that can send the enemy running and set us well on the path to victory. Psalm 100 commands us to make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. One of the themes that has often lifted my spirits comes from the promise of Jesus' second coming. And from the looks of the requests I received this week from Montana to Virginia and Michigan in between, that that theme resonates with many of you as well. But first, Delano emailed me from Jamaica a list of excitingly inspiring courses like this one. I've got my mind made up. I've got my mind made up and I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. I've got my mind made up and I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. All right, sing. I've got my mind made up and I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. I've got my mind made up and I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. Goodbye world, I stay no longer with you. Goodbye pleasures of sin. I stay no longer with you I've made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life I've made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life Oh goodbye world I stay no longer with you Goodbye pleasures of sin I stay no longer with you I've made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life I've made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life I've got my mind made up and I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday I've got my mind made up and I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday I've got my mind made up and I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. Oh yes, I want to see my Jesus someday. I say I want to see my Jesus someday. Oh, that is fun. That's my take on little Jamaican music. That's good stuff. In John chapter 14, Jesus said, If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. That makes me feel like traveling on. I feel like traveling, traveling on. I feel like traveling on. My heavenly home is bright and fair. I feel like traveling on. You sing it. Thank you. 
I feel like traveling on. Yes, I feel like traveling on. My heavenly home is bright and fair. I feel like traveling on. Let others seek a home below. I feel like traveling on. Which flames devour? I feel like traveling on The Lord has been so good to me And I feel like traveling on Until that blessed home I see I feel like traveling on Oh, I feel like traveling on I feel like traveling on. My heavenly home is bright and fair, and I feel like traveling on. Yes, I feel like traveling on. Oh, that's good stuff. Now here's a song for my dear friend Mary in Michigan. Mary, I hope you're listening and singing along. This song speaks of the joyful anticipation only fitting for a homesick child of God. When all my labors and trials are o'er And I am safe on that beautiful shore Just to be near the dear Lord I adore Will through the ages be glory for me Oh, that will be Glory for me, glory for me, glory for me, when by His grace I shall look on His face, that will be glory, be glory for me. I shall look on his face that will be glory, oh glory for me. Friends will be there I have loved long ago, joy like a river around me will flow, yet just a smile from my Savior I know will through the ages be glory That will be glory for me, glory for me, glory for me, when by His grace I shall look on His face. That will be glory, yes, glory. great song. You can go to the 3ABN Praise Him channel Facebook page on Facebook and make your request or you can email me or you can mail me with snail mail or you can walk right up to me and tell me to my face your favorite by request. All right. I look forward to hearing from you and we'll be right back after this. Hi and welcome back. Many of you have been watching sometimes may feel sorry for me for the ability, inability that I have of forming sentences. Somewhere in between my brain and my mouth, the words get confused. And I have a little bit of trouble sometimes, and I'm working on that. But I have friends who are brilliant, songwriters that can form sentences and write songs, the lyrics of which uh, are heavenly, in my opinion. And I have one of my friends online right now, Dave Clark has written several songs, many that you have probably sung. Uh, I'm going to talk to him. Let's see if he can give me some tips on how to talk. <laughs> Dave, are you there? 
I'm here, Tim. How you doing, sir? Hey, I'm doing wonderful. It is so great to see you. I was just telling my friends what a great songwriter you are. Let's start off with maybe some of the songs that you have written that might they may recognize. Well, it depends how you who you listen to, I guess. I've been doing it a long, long time, and uh, we wrote a lot of the stuff for groups like For Him and Phillips, Craig and Dean, and songs like um, Crucified with Christ and Mercy Came Running. Um, this is how it feels to be free. Why? I don't. I'm not sure. The irony is that I grew up in Southern gospel music, and yeah. last year was the first Southern gospel single I ever had. Really? <laughs> and it was just kind of ironic. But uh, now, how long have you been writing? I I wanted to write. I felt like God called me to write from the time I was a young kid. I lived in Michigan. Mm -hmm. uh, back in that day, we didn't have computers. There. Uh, there was no other way to do it except move to Nashville. So that's what I did two weeks after high school. Right. So I set out with the ugliest car in Michigan. <laughs> and by the time I got there, I had the ugliest car in Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. Well, you felt right at home. Um, so I did. So you are also a musician, though. You, that's, you brought that, too, to the table. I, I played, uh, you know, through high school and stuff and, and ended up, my first professional music job was riding on the same bus that you rode on with the Spear family. And I stayed right. there five years and I, I loved being with them. They were my parents' favorite group as a kid and it yeah. was a dream come true. But I remember one night we were doing the camp meeting in Iowa, a Nazarene camp meeting. And they, they did a song called Pour Through Me about vessels that had gone dry. And even though I'd written the song, I knew they were singing it to me. Wow. They also sang the verse that night that never gets sung to the old hymn, I'd Rather Have Jesus. And that night they sang, I'd rather have Jesus than men's applause. I'd rather be mm. faithful to his dear cause. And I'd rather have Jesus than worldwide fame. And I, I knew who they were singing to. We wow. were in an industry where the only way to gauge our success was by men's applause. Right. And I went that week and resigned to Brock. And I just said, God called me to write. As good as you've been to me, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I've got to write songs. Sweet. Well, that's an awesome step of faith to take. And I know that there are a lot of singers and songwriters in Nashville who are trying to find their place. And so it's a good thing to follow the calling of God and to, to just sure. put it all in His hands and trust Him. And He certainly has been good to you. I've seen your name on uh, several billboard charts, and that's really, really cool. And it's an honor to call you friend to the extent that, um, that I am your friend at all. But um, I do admire your talent and your gift, and um, I encourage you to keep doing what you do. I, uh, now, you are also affiliated with a publishing company. Uh, are, you still, are you still doing that? Yes. With, with I am creative director for a company called Lilinus, and... They do a lot of church music, and we were blessed to uh, get to work with a Tim Parton arrangement that came out last year with Mike Speck. <laughs> right, cool. I love the church, and yeah. sometimes you call it choral music. Sometimes it's inspirational music. All my life, I have had one market in mind, and that's to write for where I felt like the church was. Nice. I love the ability to edify the saints through lyrics um, that glorify God. So sure. uh, uh, let's, let's do a, a song that maybe is a favorite song of yours. Anything you've written you like? <laughs> Probably uh, a writer always likes the last one they wrote, and the best one is the one they're about to write. So, oh. <laughs> uh, But you know what? Probably one that people might know the most would be uh, a Christmas song, and it was recorded about 20 years ago, and every year since it's been recorded by another artist, and this past Christmas, Rascal Flatts recorded it, so oh, that was cool. kind of exciting. Cool. And, and so give me the title. The title is A Strange Way to Save the World. A strange Way. All right. Let's, let's do it. I'm sure he must have been surprised where this road had taken him There's never in a million lives Would he have dreamed of Bethlehem Standing at the manger He saw with his own eyes 
message from the angel come to life Joseph said why me I'm just a simple man of trade why him with all the rulers in the world why here inside this stable filled with hay why her? She's just an ordinary girl Now I'm not one to second guess What angels have to say But this is such a strange way To save the world To think of how it could have been Jesus had come as he deserved There would have been no Bethlehem No lowly shepherds at his birth Joseph knew the reason Love had to reach so far And as he held the Savior in his arms He must have thought, why me? I'm just a simple man of trade Why him with all the rulers in the world? Why here inside this stable filled with hay? Why her? She's just an ordinary girl Now I'm not one to second guess What angels have to say This is such a strange way Save the world What a great song. Wonderful, wonderful lyrics. Dave Clark, you're an amazing man. Thank you very, very much. And um, God bless you. And I look forward to hearing more songs from you. Tim, thank you so much, and best of luck with your show, and God's blessing on your, your whole staff there. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thanks, brother. God bless you. Bye. Bye-bye. For Chuck and Gail in Montana, and for Ellen in Virginia, here are two more modern gospel songs with beautifully crafted lyrics depicting the second coming of Jesus Christ. We shall behold him and the midnight cry. Shall be. 
shout of his coming and the sleeping shall rise from their slumbering place and those who shall be changed in a moment and we shall behold him then face to face yes we shall be the times they're appearing everywhere I can almost hear the father as he says son go get my children and at the midnight cry such sweet memories of New Year's Eve services as a child when we would form a circle around the church sanctuary and sing this chorus reminding each other of that blessed hope that he is coming soon. He's coming soon 
He's coming soon with joy. And if you believe that, I think it's all the more important to keep a song in your heart because Jesus keeps us singing. Jesus, 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 sweetest. 